Say on streets. On streets. Say on streets. On and made it. Right. Made it. Whose streets? On streets. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuned in to another episode of Ian's Podcast. Man, we gonna be kicking back off where we last left off when we was talking about um, purchasing stock and we was talking about buying stock on Robinhood and stuff like that. Um, And just buying stock and investing in general. Um, Right now, uh, I got one of my um, stock uh, accounts pulled up and it's with Robinhood. And we're going to be going over, like, basically some of those stocks I was talking to y'all about, uh, such as New York Mortgage Trust, Ford, Series XM, Marathon Oil, um, General Electric, uh, and Nokia. And one thing I was talking about, too, um, that I emphasized on on last episode uh, was just saying how what my process was when it came down to choosing these stocks and the reason why. Today, I want to go kind of further in depth and kind of show uh, basically where I'm at today since our last episode. Um, and on the last episode, and like as y'all see since the last episode, um, I'm looking at the stock market. Today is Wednesday. is 8.54 in Central Time Zone, 9.54 in Eastern Time Zone. And the stock market opened up at 9.30 and closed at 4.30. Man, I'm telling you, I'm starting to really stay on top of this game a little bit and what I kind of wanted it to do is is it is doing is kind of making me want to kind of be on top of like finances and investments and stuff like that. Um, and it's nothing like actually seeing uh, your money work for itself and kind of getting the understanding, you know, exercising that understanding, like learning a new game uh, in a sense that you win. But going into uh, the stock and what we're looking at right now, um, this this is basically like a leaderboard. Uh, I basically got it on basically like by whoever uh, is bringing in the most returns. Uh, like my total returns. Basically like who who am, who am I making the most off of? Uh, basically like from putting in like off the shares. Um, and last time I spoke to y'all about the reason why I invested into the New York uh, Mortgage Trust and the reasoning behind that, and I bought in at a very, very, very low price, like roughly over a dollar and some cents. And as y'all can see, this is the price of it right now, and this is why my return is up. And for y'all that don't see, uh, because y'all don't have access to the video, which it will be a link in the description below, but the price is currently a dollar 89. Um, and I earn, uh, I mean, and I own um, three shares. So my total return is uh, close to two dollars, but it's, it's, it's bouncing back and forth between a <clears> dollar <throat> ninety eight and a dollar ninety two, um, and off that my current equity uh, is five dollars and sixty seven cents. But then let's not forget that this is also a dividends return uh, share. But I'm gonna click on it so I can go a little bit more in depth with it. And as y'all can see, but before I click on it, I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit more about the other ones that I have on there. And hopefully y'all y'all tuned in to the last episode, y'all, when I, I went in more in depth and talked about the reason why I picked these ones. But like I said, do your own research and learn the game for yourself because everybody learns to play the game differently. Everybody play the game for different reasons. It's just like playing sports or any other thing. Everybody's in it for different reasons. Um, and you got to come up and with your reasoning, you know, but there is like certain formulas and certain things that like, you know, tricks to the trade. Um, 
but you know then below that uh the next uh highest grossing stock uh stock uh share or shares is ford which is it you know an increase you know i got a return of a dollar it's fluctuating between a dollar 30 and like a dollar 25 um and it's all and it's all just in the morning so by the end of the day this stuff can change completely um, and then Marathon Oil was up, uh, General Energy. Basically, all the ones that I invested in so far are all in the green, um, but that can change by the end of the day. But currently, they're all in the green. Um, but as y'all can see, uh, what I was telling y'all was uh, I was my my goal going into this or my strategy going in was I was looking for like basically companies that I was familiar with and industries that I was familiar with. And then I went and kind of looked at like their news behind it. Like, you feel me? Like, try to get an understanding, like, make sure I kind of got an understanding, like, how the business is functioning, how the business is working. <clears throat> and then I also price margin, you feel me? Ends eating in the streets mean making the most out of your current circumstance. So I understand everybody don't got hundreds and thousands of dollars to pour into the stock market. And some of us are still unsure about how to even how to play it. So I say start small, learn a game. Then once you learn the game, then you feel me, do what you can do. You feel me, do it. But like at the, but at the same time, play the game how you know, play the game within your own means. So that's why I bought like, you know, various stocks uh, at various different prices. Um, and the one that's the highest returning one is the one that I actually bought for the lowest amount, which is, it, it was going for, you know, a dollar and some change. And just thinking about back on life, you feel me? Uh, if you smoke tobacco, you drink, you, you, you junk food, anything like that, that's more so a, a want, um, that we turned into a need, investments should be more so a want that we should turn into a need and learning how to make our investments work for us. Um, so with that $5 you would spend going to a store or something like that, that's $5 that you can spend testing you know, the stock market, learning how to play the stock market. You feel me? So you can really have some a real foundation or knowledge to go back off of to say that, hey, this ain't how I want to uh, invest my money. But the funny thing about it is a lot of people don't really like the stock market. But when you go work for a, a nine to five, like for a big corporation and you you do these 401ks and all this type of stuff, they're investing your money into portfolios. When you buy stock shares of your company that you work for. So say if you working for four and you getting shares of it, you feel me? You should be you feel me. You should be keeping eyes on that. You feel me? Are you working for these corporations and they give you and they're giving you shares as part of your benefit package? You should be trying to get an understanding of what are you actually getting. You feel me? Um, and that just my whole partake on it. You feel me? Uh, everybody is different and everybody got their different reasoning behind that. Some people don't want that added on stress or burden. Um, but this is what I'm looking at right now. And this is what I'm trying to do. And for those that that are interested and those that are already doing it man let's continue to have these conversations man me and will capo man on a previous episode too man just talking about it man just talking about generational wealth um he was speaking on basically just man it's really just gonna take for us to really just step up and really just change the culture for the next generation for them to really have that foundation and really have those tools so i feel like start with us today having those type of conversations Long story short, that's why we're here today. So I'm about to click on this New York Mortgage Trust. I was talking y'all ear off for a second, man. You know, I have to get, man, this shit deep for me, man. So um, right now, New York Mortgage Trust is at $1.88. You feel me? And right now, we're just looking at what the price has been fluctuating over the day. Um, then we're going to look at, this is what it looked like over the week. Man, so over the week, uh, on April six we gonna go to april six let's go back seven days to april first so if we go back seven days no we ain't even gonna go back seven days we just gonna go back to april uh second um at april second the stock was at a dollar thirty um april second today is currently fluctuating in between you know a dollar eighty eight it went up today uh to like a dollar 88 
So now I'm gonna go down into these numbers right here because this is what actually helps you get a better understanding of what is really going on when you see these numbers jump. Um, this tell you your portfolio diversity, basically how much uh, how much does this stock have within your whole portfolio, like value in your portfolio. Um, and what just ownership within your portfolio, equity within your portfolio. It's only 8.2. Um, I mean, I mean 8.12, my bad. But and then on the other side, it goes into the actual your equity. What is the price that is at your average cost? So my average cost is a dollar twenty-three, and I have three shares of that, but my equity is five dollars and sixty-seven cents and fluctuating, but the cost what I bought it at. You feel me? Was three dollars and sixty-eight cent. So that's why on the other screen, y'all can. I was looking at my returns, but this is like you know, this is what I paid. This is what I'm making right now. So if I want to sell it, I put in three dollars and sixty-eight cent. I can sell it for five dollars and sixty-seven cent, sixty-nine cent. You feel me? And then I just go over here on the next, you know, because on Robinhood uh, they have a tab where you can go sell it. So I could go sell it at the same time on the market, um, but I'm not into doing the daytime trading right now. Like I say, I'm still learning the game and we learning together. Um, so I'm not gonna be trying to just speed through the process. Uh, but I currently see that, boom, it's sitting at 570 and it's steadily increasing. This tell you to today my returns is $1.68. My total returns is $2.02. And that just off of putting in a dollar sixty-eight. You know, I'm no guru, and I understand that the market fluctuates and all that type of stuff. But I'm saying, if you gonna go spend three dollars on something that ain't gonna come back to you at all, and you have a chance to put up three dollars and possibly make an extra two off of it, why not? Like, you feel me? Like, and that's what I'm starting to get into. Like, why not? So that's what's kind of really influencing me to kind of really dive more into it and take more of a um a liking to it you feel me because you know a lot of our situations and things are hindered because of our lack of discipline uh when it come down to our finances and a lack of you feel me streams of income and if you can put five dollars a week into the stock market um just based off you feel me learning it you feel me i ain't saying just go blindly but and that's why i said start small you feel me? I started small. This is they say I paid three dollars and sixty eight cent. You feel me? Now I'm at five dollars and sixty four cent, sixty six cent. Like it's fluctuating. You feel me? And if I want to sell it today, you feel me? I can damn to make a whole profit of two dollars. You feel me? Within a you, 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 you feel me within a little a little bit of time. But it's all about how you choose to play the game and how you choose to invest like invest in your free time a lot of y'all y'all sitting at home doing this whole COVID-19 virus you feel me I man I even bought fractional shares off of Cash App and um and Netflix because I know y'all watching TV like I did like that type of little stuff and we stay hip to what's going on when I'm watching social media I'm seeing how people is sharing about you feel me because Netflix is real good at basically uh when it when it when it come down to those what they call it, nostalgia uh, movies, like basically those old 90s, those childhood movies, they bringing them back out, which mean they they capturing and creating new audiences at the same time. People are discovering those movies for the first time, but also people that grew up on those movies, that love those movies, like it's part of their culture, like they're going to go watch it. And they got that pool and network now where they're bringing in those type of movies. So it's like their stock is fluctuating too, but you know, Hey, I bought in, uh, but we going to talk about that in a whole nother episode because that's another platform. Like as I was saying, I got various accounts basically set up that I use platforms to to uh, basically learn and play the market with. And that's one, uh, but we're going to go more into uh, fractional shares. They really call it fractional shares, um, but we're going to keep it real funky with this right here. So going back into like even learning about the company, um, you feel me? New York Mortgage Trust uh, Company is a com uh, common stock. Also called the New York Mortgage Trust is a real estate investment trust which engages in acquisitions, uh, investment, finance, and manage uh, management of mortgage-related and residential houses, uh, housing-related assets. So yeah, like, and that's a little bit behind the company. And while I was saying like, 
I, I kind of, you know, like I chose to go that route. And then next, I'm I'm gonna go into something a little bit more different. I'm gonna go into uh four. Now four is a little different. Um, four four at the average cost is uh four dollars and forty four cent. I caught it at a good time. Um, over the weekend and over the last couple of weeks, it's been fluctuating between four to five dollars. Um, so I bought um three shares, and those three shares basically came out to thirteen dollars and thirty two cent. You feel me? Right now, their stock is fluctuating between fourteen dollars and forty five cent and. 50 cent. So long story short, uh my returns today is 39 cent, but my total returns is a dollar twenty and it's you know it's fluctuating between a dollar twenty and like a dollar fourteen. Which in a sense isn't that bad because when you start looking at it, that's a like I said, you you put your money in and you made a dollar. So if I want to sell it right now, I can make a dollar off of what I just put in. You feel me? And for some people, you feel me? That's like, oh, man, a dollar, that's small talk. But think about it. I don't really know the game like that. And I'm playing from the from the ground up, which means I'm learning the ins and outs. That dollar means a lot more in value. You feel me? That means, oh, shit, you got to figure out what's going on because something is going on right right now. Why is the stock going up? You feel me? What does this increasement mean? You feel me? And when is like a good time? Like, you know, it just, you know, just, 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 just getting an understanding of it and going back into it, understanding the news, following up on it. Um, and it's, and it's really like basically just following the news on the stock that you really got. Like right now, um, basically I'm just looking at the, the news behind the forest stock or the news just within the industry that they also keep up. Um, and that's one thing about like platforms like Robinhood, certain certain stock options, uh, shares, certain stock shares, uh, they actually have like news that's within the industry pulled up for you so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. I ain't gonna really go too much more in detail. You feel me? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep it at where it's at, man. And just want y'all, you know, to, to kind of chime in, man. If it's somebody out there that owns stock, man. If it's somebody out there uh, that's interested, somebody out there that's that's uh, that even if you against it, I want to know why. Uh, you feel me? Comment. Um, leave me a voice message if you support this man and you vibing with this man like share subscribe man we need man we need that man we need that support man we need that love man we trying to keep this going on man we trying to spread the knowledge um, next episode we're going to be touching more into the cash app we're going to be talking more about fractional shares which basically cash app got an option now where you can basically put up a dollar Put up ten dollars, twenty five, fifty dollars into certain stocks, and you can buy a fraction of the actual share, and you can get returns. I'm already starting to build interest and in like, well, not interest, but basically like my returns on it. And we'll go more into detail into that in the next episode. Uh, but it's your boy Baz, man, man. We waking up, man. We taking full advantage every day, man. This is Ed's podcast, man. Y'all tuning out.